Hey guys, Archie Luxury here on the Paul Pluto channel. I'm doing a paid review. This is for Perpetually Green. This is review 24 QB3. We're going to run the intro and then we're going to ask the meaning of life, a very important question that he's raising. Let's run the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, Archie Luxury here on the Paul Pluter channel. This is review 24 QB3. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing an 18 karat gold, rose gold, JLC master compressor chronograph. I'm doing a paid review. This is for Perpetually Green. And he's he's sort of he's asking this question and I... I didn't race out and give a reply because I, I really wanted to think about what he was saying. And um, I just I didn't want to rush into it because it's a bit of a philosophical one. And I wanted to give him some value. Let's have a look at his collection indeed here. What do we got here? We got we got a few watches. Um Paid review along with a question. Super Arch, I have a citizen. He's got a citizen watch. A citizen. A citizen NB1050. A two-tone Orient Star basic date. And a Seiko Sumo Green SPB103J1. Don't go easy on them. If you don't mind, answer in the video. Why and how you can justify spending so much on watches, even though it badly affects one's life, because I am of the view that if you have to save for a watch, you'll put it on a credit card that you can't afford it. Thank you, and check your PayPal. So he sent me a substantial, substantial contribution. And I'm um, um, I'm I'm making this video. So so what do I think here? So he's he's asking a meaning of life. The meaning of life. Why? 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 Good question. What do I think of his little collection there? Well, you know what? If it was Rolex or an Amiga, you'd say that actually is pretty decent, but. These are pretty ordinary. They're ordinary fuckers, aren't they? These are just pretty fucking ordinary stuff. Um, they actually look quite nice. I, I got to tell you the three-piece combo there. We got the Citizen Automatic. That's, uh, you know, it's 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 not terrible. Made in Japan. Um, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's okay. The Orient Star. Um... It's just about to change over here. The date's clicking over. Yes, that's okay. And a, a Seiko Sumo. It looks black, but it's it's green, apparently. Almost. Okay, so that's a... a he's got a three-piece. These are all, all automatics. A Citizen, an Orient Star, and a Seiko. What do I think? Um, what do I think indeed there? Um, I got to be totally honest with you. I mean, these are just, um, what can I say? What can I say? The, the Orient Star, I think that's, they're owned by Seiko, aren't they? That's what I, I think they are. Um... In 2009, Seiko Epson made Orient Star into a wholly owned subsidiary, then to, massive, to manifest further synergy. Orient was merged into Seiko Epson in two. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okie dokie. Um, what do I think? Um, look, they're, yeah, they're, they're cheapies, aren't they? These are sub thousand dollar watches um yeah okay so he's, he's he's making the point he's he's saying well here's my collection i don't think it's terrible i mean i 
I got to be honest with you, he's using a very cheap watch box, and it doesn't really matter when you've got cheap garbage in the box. Um, look, I think it's a nice collection. You got a dress watch. It's like almost like a steel date just with an oyster bracelet and a smooth bezel. The two tone Orient Star. That's like a two tone date just. And you've got a, a diver, it's like a submariner. I mean, if this was Rolex, you'd say perfect three-piece combo meal deal. Hunger buster, well done, congratulations. But because these are because these are affordable watches, we don't really like them on this show because we kind of like expensive, expensive stuff in the luxury, the sumos. They're under a thousand bucks. What's a sumo? A sumo is about, I can see that model there for about seven to eight hundred dollars. Um, okay, okay. So what do I think? Well, they're they're quite acceptable watches. There's nothing really wrong with them. It depends what you want. It's like saying, is it better to have a Toyota or a BMW or a Mercedes? It's only you can decide. You can't tell another man what to spend his money on. You can't tell another man what to do with his money. As a three-piece garbage collection, I think it's okay. Citizen, Orient Star, and a Seiko. We've got the three bases. We've got a dive watch. Dive watches are always super cool. We got a two-tone, okay, it's gold-plated, two-tone Orient Star, and then a steel dress watch in the Seiko with the white dial. We've got a combination of uh, colors and metals. It's beautiful, but, okay, if you, so what do I think of this three-piece? As a affordable collection, it's pretty cool. Hmm. It is a cool collection. I think it's a very cool collection. Three pieces. It's not my cup of tea, but hey, if you like these watches and they you like them and you that's it, who cares what other people think? It's no one else's business, is it? It's no one else's business what um someone else thinks of their stuff is it that's your own business don't don't be influenced by other people's uh opinion it's 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 what what do you think do you like him that's it's, it's all that that is all that really matters that's all that matters i can tell you that so for me i i okay so that so what do I think? I think it's a good little three-piece collection. We've got a dive watch, we've got a two-tone, and we've got a steel. Perfect. Every occasion covered. You are set for life. Now, let's answer the philosophical question. How, why and how do you justify spending so much on watches when even when it badly affects one's life because now i gotta be honest with you i think it depends where you're from in the western world western world western world a rolex or an omega isn't so ridiculous whereas if you're in a eastern bloc country it can be a shitload of money so it depends where exactly you are Ah, because in the Western world, $10,000 is a lot of money, but you probably do a lot of stupid things that waste that money easily. So to, to be honest with you, I don't think you can tell another man what to do with his money. In my case, I like an expensive watch. Why do I like an expensive watch? I think it's something to own and to behold you this here look at this we've got a jl this is my watch here this brand new is about 50,000 50,000 australian what's that about 35 us second hand 
This is a solid gold, not plated. This is real gold. It's a real baller of a watch. Um, I got to be honest with you. If you really want it, if that's your goal, who am I to say that's a lousy thing to collect? That's a lousy way to put your money into something. You, this is one of the beautiful things of having, being an adult and being free is you can decide what you spend your money on. If you want to save and scrimp and buy yourself a gold JLC or a Rolex, well, that is, that is your choice. That's your choice. If you think it's a waste of money, hey, that's perfectly okay. Maybe spend it on some... Why don't we got to spend thing money on things that make you happy? For example, you might have a really cool girlfriend. You might want to say, well, you know, I'd like to take her out to dinners. I'd like to buy her flowers or a teddy bear or some perfume and going to have a really good well that could be a really good use of money another person would say no what a waste i want to get a beautiful watch for myself i want something beautiful you know a lot of kudos in having an expensive watch and you know that's that's how it is here's a lady's watch for example a rolex pearl master now you know what these are expensive fucking things they're not cheap they're not cheap. They're not cheap in the least. Now, the thing is, you got to decide what, what is happiness for you. Some people would say having a Rolex is what I, I really want to roll. They concentrate. They, you know, they say they want a watch. They want an expensive watch. They work hard. They take on a second and third job. They squirrel the money away. Then they get it and have a Think, sense of achievement and accomplishment and they have a store of value well that's fine but it's not for me to say to them that's a lousy goal you gotta work it out yourself so i mean if you if you um if you are married and have kids well you got responsibilities you got to make sure <coughs> the kids are fed you got to make sure they go to school, they have books and clothes and da 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 da. But if you're a single man and you got a choice of going whoring, going to nightclubs, or saving your money and getting the watch, I think getting the watch would be a much better thing. It all depends on your personal circumstance. I can't tell you what is lousy or what is good. <coughs> For me, you got to work out the balance itself. Now, there are many super rich people. They want to buy a Porsche. They buy a Ferrari. They buy a Maserati. They buy a Mercedes, a B, whatever they want to buy. This is the wonderful thing about life in the free world. You can collect and buy whatever you want. Now, that may not be your thing, but if it is your thing, good on you. Do what makes you happy. You got to decide. It's not for me to say, hey, I alone hold the key to happiness. I don't. It's what makes you happy. So, to answer your question, why and how can you justify spending so much on watches, even if it affects your one's life? Now, the thing is, the beautiful thing is by buying watches, you've got a store of value. You can resell them. If you buy them sensibly, say you buy a Rolex and you buy it and uh, then you, you need the money, you can always usually sell it and get most of your money back. So you've had free use of it. So what well, not that kind of cool? That's kind of cool, I think. In my book, that is kind of cool. So that's kind of what I would would see that's not a terrible way to buy so now I would necessarily I'm gonna be honest with you with this JLC this here this here this was very very expensive and I mean whoever bought it they've taken a massive loss now because it's equivalent to 33,000 US Smackaroonies, 33,000. Now, I 
bought it second hand because you know i like a deal what did i pay for it i paid i tell you what i paid for it i paid i paid for this watch here just a, about eleven thousand. so for me i think it's safe buying because i got a beautiful gold wristwatch eleven thousand us fucker roonies i can get my eleven thousand back it's a beautiful thing to have a piece of art now if you have to go without food and da 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 maybe not a good idea but if if you have your bases covered who am i to say what is a good or a lousy way to spend your money and that's the thing in life you got choices you got choices so <coughs> i gotta be honest with you americans most of the things they buy in life is finance they can't afford them americans can't afford cars if there wasn't financing for cars they would never be able to buy one it's something like at bmw 80 percent of bmws are leased or financed in some way houses most people don't have the cash to buy a house they take out a mortgage again that's not necessarily a bad thing house pri house prices have risen so if you had the money in the bank you inflation has killed it so it's not really a you know everybody has to you know many of these things we buy unless you are wealthy you got to sacrifice and and try your best try your best try your best now the thing is whether you buy watches or not it's your choice there um is it wrong you can't i can't say it's wrong to put a watch on a credit card or skimp and so some people enjoy the misery the misery the 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 saving the the, the trying to buy something so in many ways it's an accomplishment it's an achievement now you've got to decide whether it's worth it i don't know maybe going out whoring on a saturday night is a better use of funds only you can tell me that only you can tell me what is the best use of funds for me i think they hold value you buy the right things you buy the right one second hand they hold value. It's a store of value. It's, I mean, obviously shit happens. You could get them stolen. I know all about that. You, it's, it's, it's your life. You got to work out what is best for you, for you. You got to work it out yourself. I, I can't tell you what is right or wrong. You got to work it out yourself. And, uh, in my own view, I think it's a great thing. I think of the sacrifice you've got to save, and that well, that's that's an achievement to get these things. If everybody had the same view, it'd be damn boring. But if somebody squimps and saves and they really want to get a nice car for them, power to them. If they want to buy a expensive watch, power to them. It's whatever makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, once you're dead, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So if you want to go for that sort of collection, that collection there, or if you want to collect expensive things, that's okay. Whatever makes you happy. Um, how do I justify it? Well, I'm in the Western world and a lot of these things, I, it's part of my business and I make a living from it, so I need to buy this sort of shit. Uh, I buy this shit because it's part of my business. My business, I talk about them. People wouldn't ask me and pay me for advice if I didn't have a few nice baubles. So that's kind of how I justify it. As for yourself, those three watches there, that's probably all you need. However, what makes you happy what makes you happy and you got to decide you got to decide is it worth if you can't afford it if you, you got to put it on a credit card or say that doesn't mean you can't you can have whatever dreams you like 
That's the beautiful thing of a democracy where we can decide what we want. What we want, we can decide exactly what we want and uh, how we want to do it. So don't be influenced. It's whatever you want. If it makes you happy, do it. If it makes you sad, don't do it. So I got to be honest with you. That is what I would be saying. You want to, you've got to decide whether it's worth it. Nobody can tell you the answer. If you really want to have a Rolex or you really want to have a Mercedes or a BMW, well, you know, you got to, it's good to fulfill your dreams. You can achieve anything. One thing I will say, lazy fucks don't get the toys. Lazy people don't get the toys. So if you are lazy and a complainer, you never get the toys. Whereas if you work hard, you get more toys to play with. Now, what toys you want is your choice. But hey, I got to tell you, I think it's a great thing to do. But someone else would say it's lousy. You got to work it out. Guys, that's the philosophical question. I hope it's answered it. For me, I think they're a great thing. If it makes you happy, gives you focus and direction, that's beautiful. If you think it's lousy, well, don't do it. It's your choice. Guys, I'm Archie Luxury. This has been a paid review. This was a paid review for Perpetually Green. I hope that answers the question. Guys, don't be afraid to put some comments. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends and get more paid reviews coming my way. Guys, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. If you are in America and you want to buy or sell a Rolex, there's only one place I'd recommend, and that is David S. Hi, guys. W. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.